Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making creme brulee French toast. So if you guys want to know how to make this for any brunch or holiday or any time, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. The ingredient list might look overwhelming, but it's really simple. So let's get started. We're going to start off on high heat in a small pot and add our half a cup of butter. This is going to be the entire stick or just half a stick or just depending on where your butter is from. That'll determine the measurement for you, so make sure you look at your package. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of corn syrup. This is just going to help enhance the flavors and help decrystallize the brown sugar that we are going to be adding into this next. Use your sugar substitutes as necessary. I am using the Splenda brown sugar. You guys can use the regular brown sugar if you'd like. And all we're going to do is start melting all of this together in our small pot. At this point, once we have all of our ingredients in, we're going to turn our stove top down to a medium low heat setting. Continue stirring until your butter is melted and everything is combined. Once everything has melted, set your temperature down to a low or melting setting. My stove top has melted so it just keeps everything nice and warm for me. Moving on to our next step, I went ahead and cracked open four large eggs right into a small bowl. Added half a cup of heavy cream into that. My youngest decided she wanted to help me out in the kitchen, so she's pouring in one teaspoon of cinnamon first. Moving on to one teaspoon of vanilla. Your kids are going to love these, so have them help out. Now a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg right into the bowl. Now I know with kids it takes a little bit longer in the kitchen, but it's fine. I mean, she wanted to help out and I'd rather have them in the kitchen helping me. But we went ahead and had her mixing and don't forget to add your pinch of salt because I forgot to do that and I threw that in right in the middle of this mix. I did go ahead and speed up this video for you guys who don't have to sit there and keep watching, but I just wanted you to see how it's going to turn out in the bowl because you see the dry ingredients on the side. Those are kind of hard to get into the mix, so I had to help her out a little bit here. And I'm going to stop and show you guys the picture of how it should look at the end. And there it is. Kind of mix it as well as you can together with all the dry ingredients placed right into the bowl. I'm making mine with six slices of challah bread. If you guys want to use this, go ahead and use this. If you can't find it in your store, use brioche or a thicker type of bread. We are slicing these into bite-sized pieces. I chose to use square shapes. This is also going into my convection oven, not your regular size oven. So I have a pan that I'm using that fits right inside of there, which is why I'm using six slices. You guys can adjust as needed or just use it on a half size baking sheet and throw that into your regular oven and all of this should fit. Now we're gonna get our melted butter deliciousness pot and pour it right into our, our pan. And all we're gonna do is just kind of slide that around until it is evenly coated all over the pan. And as you can see, it only took a few seconds to get that to happen. Now that that is set, go ahead and grab your bread slices and start placing them right onto your pan on top of that sauce that we have just made. So just scooch everything around and move it as you need to. Next, get your egg mixture that we just mixed up with all of our dry ingredients as well and pour that right on top. And as you can see, while I am pouring, I need to stop and go ahead and start mixing things up a little bit because the dry ingredients don't come out evenly, so you kind of want to mix it up a little bit and then pour it all over your bread on top of it as best as you can. Scrape everything you can off of your bowl because as you can see a lot of the dry mixture just kind of stuck onto the bowl. You want to have dry bread so I gave my daughter a spoon and let her have at it to go ahead and use the egg mixture and put some of the egg on top of any piece of dry bread because when it's cooking in your toaster oven or your oven you don't want to have a burnt toast. As I said before, I am using my convection oven and I am baking mine at 375 degrees on the bottom rack for 20 to 25 minutes. 10 minutes in, this is how it looks. Make sure you guys keep your eye on your stove to make sure everything is cooking evenly and around the 20 minute mark, check it out. Mine is done at 23 minutes. As you can see on top here, you can see the creme brulee, the gooey goodness right on top. I added fresh bananas onto mine and some whipped cream underneath that. You can add whatever food, eat it as is. But if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.